together, um, whose mission is to uh, create wealth and equity for uh, minorities. And then I'm also a licensed uh, real estate agent. Uh, today we'll be talking about navigating the home buying process. Um, very, very basic um, kind of the steps that you'll be taking um, as you become a homeowner. Um, and then you can ask questions in the chat or um, just kind of jump in um, as I'm going along. All right, so literally step one, uh, you wanna get your finances, your credit in order. Um, and this can take anywhere from six months to a year. And it really depends on where you are uh, when, when you um, kind of start this process. Um, it could be shorter, it could be longer. Um, you want to essentially um, determine your affordability. Um, your affordability is determined by your income. So three times what you've, um, three times what you're making, that's typically what you're approved for. Um, and then your credit score kind of determines the rate. Uh, step two, right? Uh, you want to meet with your real estate agent. Uh, you want to let them know what type of property um, you're looking for, um, the location of the property, um, generally um, attributes of the property, right? You want a garage. Does it have to be a specific type of roof, location, um, backyard, pool, right? Um, these are things that you're telling to your real estate agent, right? Um, and then your agent um, is then taking that information and um, sending you properties, right? And kind of trying to match that uh, with, the, with the preferences that they gave you. Uh, step three, sometimes people qualify for the mortgage before they go to the agent. Uh, my experience, most people um, don't know really where to start. Um, and so, once you once they meet with you, the agent, you kind of walk them through the process. Again, getting their um, their preferences up front, right? Um, but then also getting them pre-qualified for a mortgage. Um, the qualifying for a mortgage, you're submitting your income documents, um, taxes, pay stubs, basically anything um, that the, the the bank is asking you for. Um, you definitely want to submit and submit it. Um, as soon as possible, right? Step four, uh, you begin your home search, right? So, in step two, oh, in step two, you kind of told your agent what was needed, um, and that's going to come into play here. Um, they're they're basically going to plug in all those um, features of the property. Uh, and typically what you'll get is um, daily M MLS reports, right? Um, and that's just the local property listings um, in an area that match your search. Begin your home search. Um, once your offer is accepted, um, you do go through attorney approval and inspections, right? Um, I think they might be two, technically two separate steps, but I, have, I do have them combined here. Uh, so attorney approval is a th three-day period um, in which your, your attorney reviews uh, the contract, right? Uh, your attorney is essentially saying, look, everything we put in this contract is correct, right? And then the seller's attorney is also saying the same thing. Everything that's put in this contract is correct. Right, so as you're going through the attorney approval process, you're simultaneously scheduling and hopefully going through inspections as well, right? Um, inspections, you are literally uh, pulling everything back, um, uh, the foundation, uh, you're making sure the outlets work, you're making sure the water pressure is good, uh, you, you're just making sure everything in, in the house is good, no mold, no asbestos, right? Um, just different things like that. You want to absolutely attend the inspection. That's one. Um, but two, you make sure that you ask 
um, any questions that you have, right? Because this is kind of the professional, yes, your realtor is there to basically guide you through the process, but this inspection, the inspector is really the professional that's um, the one that's gonna tell you what's wrong with the property, if there's anything wrong with the property. Um, so as you are, so you go through inspections, um, from the moment you get pre-qualified all the way up until this moment of you officially applying for a mortgage, um, you don't want to do anything to change your income, right, your assets, uh, nor do you want to do anything that is negatively affecting your credit. So one, you're not like quitting your job or anything like that, right? And then two, um, you're not taking out buying a new couch, right, on credit. Um, you're not opening up a new Macy's card, right? You're not getting a new car, things like that. Uh, so the, the next step, right? So the underwriter is gonna be asking for documentation. Um, and then one of the main loan conditions um, that you have to meet um, in order to get your loan finalized is to get um, insurance, right? Um, and that, that's an up upfront cost. Get your insurance, you get you go to the final walkthrough. Basically, everything that you saw during inspection, the first, second showing, you wanna make sure that it's still there, right? Um, if it's not, if there's a, a hole in the roof, uh, if there's a hole in the floor, anything is missing, right? You absolutely want the other, other side to know that, right? Um, and then you can, guys can kind of negotiate and kind of figure out the numbers from there. Uh, but yeah, final well, after the final walkthrough, um, uh, is basically closing, um, and 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 in closing, you're basically telling the bank, hey, look, if if you give me if you give me this house, right, I promise to pay you back. That's essentially what you're saying to the bank on the closing table. Um, and then and somewhere among those documents, um, the bank is telling you that they're going to most likely sell your mortgage, and you're saying, fine, that's fine. Um, but yeah, questions. Okay, so um, Miss Darlene Ross asked, do we have to find our own inspector? Um, so typically, no, right? Typically your real estate agent um, would kind of have like, kind of like a base referral list of inspectors that they typically use. Um, and so that's that's how, most times how um, clients find their inspectors. Um, as agents, we kind of refer a minimum of three people to you. Um, and then from there, you kind of do have to um, like, you know, um, narrow it down. Um, but yeah, we, we, we definitely give you a baseline uh, of, of where to start. Okay. Um, now I have a question. <laughs> um, so you named a couple of um, uh, of of people um, in the industry. Do you have any recommendations, for example, like um, any lenders that you you utilize or you prefer people over to um, appraisers? Um, just anybody that you're connected with that you can recommend. How does that work? Uh, I mean, yeah, I can certainly um, put together a list, um, but I think my list, to be honest with you, so I'm in um, New York, uh, my list is going to be pretty, like, local to, like, my area, um, but I can certainly, like, put you in contact with um, agents that have, like, like, very similar resources, right, like, a list of appraisers that they use, inspectors that they use. Um, like as agents, we kind of just develop um, like relationships with people in the industry. So, you know, if somebody's like, I need a real estate attorney, uh, you know, there's pretty much like a short list that we can kind of give off. But that would be um, that would be kind of be local to your different areas. I'm not sure um, what um, 
where everybody's from on the call. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, so I have clients in New York. So that's and I and I know. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can definitely um, put them in touch with you know the right people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have clients in the tri-state area for the most part. Well, all over, but um, I have clients in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. You know. So and then where where these uh, Zoom calls are going to be posted is pretty much everywhere. So. You know, just wanted to make the, that known. So if someone's like on YouTube, for example, watching it, and they want to reach out, maybe they might have that type of question. Well, so yeah, okay, okay. Does anyone else have any questions? You can also unmute yourself if you want. No questions. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, so before you, oh, Miss Karen, do you have a question? Uh, Tamar, there is a question in the box by Darlene Ross. Oh, Another okay. Question. Thank you. Uh, it says I am currently in the Albany, New York area, but I will be relocating to the Atlanta area. Do you have any connections there? Yes. I know an agent out there. Uh, I can put you in contact. Uh, I'll drop my um, email um, in the chat so you have it and we can connect offline. And that's really, that's for everybody actually. I posted your contact information in the chat um, oh, before okay. we started. You can do it again. Can everybody see? Um, Virginia's contact information in the chat, if you scroll up. Yeah, I've left your website. Okay, good. Yeah, your website, your phone number, your email, all of that. But you can't see it? Okay, I'll post it up again. Bear with me. Okay. All right, posting it up now. You should see it. Let me know. Oh yeah, I see. It. <laughs> yeah. It says no phone number, only email. Yep. But yeah, this the one I just posted has everything. So that's her name, her title. Got it. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions for Virginia 